I just wanted to pop on real quick. I just posted these October Daily Junk Journals in my online store. Um, but I don't feel like taking 60 photos to show you all the pages in here. So I thought I'd do a quick little flip through. Um, these are available in my store. I only have the two available. So we will start with this one. They're five by seven ish. Um, they have 30 pages, so 60 sides if you do front and back. Um, they, I don't know if you, oh yeah, you can see the gold shimmer on this really well. Yeah, let me open my blinds here and see if the light gets any better. Eh, a little bit. Um, so it is cardstock cover. Um, and then I just did a button. I don't even know what you call this closure. Anyways. So when you open it, they're both going to have essentially the same things. I left it really open as far as lots of journaling space and not a lot of embellishments, but I am including an ephemera pack with it. So both of them have, I'll show both, but this one has um, a little front pocket. And then I'm just going to flip through super quick. There are some coffee dyed papers. I didn't do a lot of inking because I just felt like it looked better with white. Uh, I did some inking on some of the ephemera, but not on any of these pages, I don't think. So anyway, some coffee dyed paper, um, some marbled paper. I, this is, I rarely use this paper because I don't make it very often. Um, and when I do, I don't want to get rid of it. But I did put a few in each of these, or at least one in each of them. Uh, more cardstock. And this is from a paper pack. I believe it was last year's. I saw that they sell the six by six pack at Michael's still, but I didn't see a big one. Some ledger paper, more coffee dyed, little tuck spot. I love I love this paper. I think it's so pretty. I like the traditional black and purple Halloween, but this is just something I thought would be fun and different. A pocket over here and then it is pamphlet stitched um, and I did add some coordinating washi tape in the center just to keep the, the stitching in place I did just a little belly band and in the ephemera pack I'm not gonna open it um, but I did include quite a bit in there there's pockets that I made um, there's tags, there's embellishments. So just a super quick flip through here. Oops. I do October daily every year. And to be honest with you, I would have kept one of these, but I didn't finish my October. Well, I finished it last year, but I had so many pages in my book that, um, I have plenty of room for this year, so I'm just going to combine it. And then this is the ephemera pack that comes with it. Uh, you know what? I'll open it. It's fine. So I included a cute little oops, paperclip skull, if you can see that, with like a little bone. Don't mind my horrible nails. They keep breaking on me. Um, a fun little crepe paper rosette with a spider on it. Just did a little journaling card, a couple of tags, and then the cut aparts from the paper pack. Um, so did some three by four journaling cards. I didn't do anything on the back of these. I did, no, I didn't ink these either. Um, I did a pocket. So it's actually a double pocket. Larger journaling card. Coffee dyed envelope with happy Halloween hand dyed card in there. A belly band and then you could make this a belly band or just a pocket. It's it's uh, seven inches but it's got you could do two pockets. Or you could make it a belly band and then that would technically, well, no, that would still only be two pockets. So, uh, so that's the first one. And then the other one, it has the same amount of everything in it, just a little bit different. 
So this one is pastel with gold spider webs. Love it. Man, there we go. We got a little bit of a different pocket there. And I use tried to use a little bit different pages in here. Pockets. I think this is the exact same in both of them. I just like the way that pocket looked. I did add some elementary school paper. You can see that. More marbled paper, coffee dyed, cardstock from the pack. I'm not sure what happened on this paper when I dyed it, but I thought it was kind of cool. The blue kind of just bled. And then again, I did the washi tape down the center so that it would reinforce the stitching. Fun little double belly band here. Paper and then the ephemera pack for this one has a couple different items in it, just different looking. So I did include the little bone paper clip, a little crepe paper rosette with a black spider, journal card, um, tags. three by four journaling cards, and then some cut, cut aparts, also cutaways. Another little pocket, a uh, double pocket where you could put it directly on the page. Um, bottom is open, so if you wanna close it, you can, or you can have something completely slide through. This can actually be three pockets, depending on how you attach it to the page. Another journaling card. Their envelope. I did make the front of this a pocket so you can put something in the envelope there and then another little dyed index card. Oops. I'll put that back in after. A double belly band and then another double pocket um, however you want to attach that to the page. So that is it. I will leave the link to my shop online. Uh, there's only these two available. I, I plan on doing more October dailies. We'll see how these go. And I think that's it. Hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? I don't even know what day it is. Anyways, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a, a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.